Hey there! My name is Brett Arabino and I serve as a student advisor on the Student Leadership Committee of Sigma Tau Delta. And in a few moments you'll be hearing from some of our other wonderful student leaders who are going to be discussing our 2022 common reader, which is Dear Martin, written by Nick Stone. This week's question is looking at what might make for a great paper topic about Dear Martin to be submitted to our 2022 International Convention in late March. Of course, we look forward to hearing your own thoughts on this question when you reply with a comment to this video. We hope you enjoy. If I were writing a convention paper on Dear Martin, I think that I would choose to focus on the fact that this is a young adult novel um, written about young adults for a young adult audience. Um, I think that the time of life and the age range that these characters are in when this story takes place is hugely important to the way that the themes are discussed and that the way that the story develops and how that may or may not have been different if this book was written about adults for adults um, and why the author may have chosen to house this story in this young adult context. If I were to write a convention paper about Dear Martin, I think it would be really interesting to write about the similarities and differences between how the different characters of different races see and interact with each other. The most obvious examples are um, how the police officers and Jared interact with Justice and Manny, and how Justice's mother views his potential relationship with SJ. The novel makes a point to show both of these perspectives and how judgment can be passed on someone simply because of their race, and I think it would be very interesting to write a paper on the commentary inherent in that. Focusing on this year's convention, the theme is action. Throughout the novel, Stone presents us with narrations of different race problems Black people are confronted with every day. As we follow our protagonist through each hurdle, we are reminded of the hardships they face simply for the color of their skin. Each time, it's a reminder, a call to action. I would write about how the novel is a call to action, to change. Action so that future generations won't have to experience prejudice, racism, and discrimination. If I was writing a convention paper um, for Dear Martin um, at the convention, uh, I would focus on the main stereotypes that are focused, um, especially by uh, characters such as uh, Jared or Blake, um, or even some of the adults to an extent, and focus on where the stereotypes that they tend to come up with um, stem from why they stem from where they do and the importance of that in understanding um, their role in the novel itself. Beyond immediately wanting to focus on what is justice in Dear Martin after our beautifully named main character sets it up so perfectly, I feel repeatedly drawn to chapter 14 and wanting to focus on the use of bang 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 to signify the dramatic turning point in the novel after we have such sustained descriptive intimacy between ourselves and justice through the use of third person limited narration and the letters to Martin. From the inherently violent etymology of Bang to its use in the first scene we have between Manny and Justice where they are simply playing video games, I'd focus on how this sound conveys so much between the boys and how it seems to echo throughout the novel the same way that gun violence seems to echo throughout the novel. And it interrupts that intimacy within the structure that we have become so familiar with and never really- If I were to write a paper for convention over the young adult novel, Dear Martin, I would want to write about Jared, the character. He's very smart, except for when it comes to culture or respect for other people. I know a lot of people like Jared, but Jared undergoes a serious change throughout the novel, especially towards the end. I would want to focus my paper on the effects of ignorance and show how it can hurt people, but also show how learning about others can change our perceptions of them and how we treat them. 